Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and in today's Forza Horizon 3 video, uh, again, my voice is still not quite 100% recovered, um, I'm not, again, not quite sure why this time, um, I, it may have been from, I mean, it may have been from some of the recording I did in real life a couple days ago where, I, like, I don't know, I was like, was kind of shouting a lot on camera, so that might have been why, uh, but regardless, um, the main thing that we're focusing on today is we're going to be taking my Subaru 22B STI Horizon Edition and we're going to be converting it, uh, basically we're going to be converting it into a, uh, like a drift machine. Now, when I say drift machine, kind of drift, kind of Gymkhana, it's a little bit, a little bit of a weird, a little bit of a weird mix, so I'm going to actually just change to a different set of 1552s because I like these 1552s um, and I'm going to leave the wheel size the same but I'm going to change up the aero stuff a little bit because we don't really need this thing to be a rally car at the moment. We don't need it to be a um, we don't need, to, need it to be an off-road focused rally car. So what we're going to do is go for the factory hood so you can get that classic uh, that classic hood scoop and we're going to build the car primarily around making a all-wheel drive Gymkhana style build that works on the Hot Wheels tracks, meaning we're going to need a lot of power. Uh, we're going to need a lot of power, we're going to need the car to be fast, and we're going to not remove the wing because that looks really weird on 22Bs. That wing, the Duloc wing, is just a little strange. I mean, I think I'm going to stick with the factory wing, honestly, because... The factory wings on these look so good. I, they really do. There's there's something about a factory wing on a 22B STI that just kind of looks right. I, there, there's there really is just something that looks right about like about that style. Uh, do we need the mud flaps? No. That looks actually a little bit better. Those side skirts do. Um, and for conversions, I don't think I want to engine swap it. I think I want to keep the boxer. The only thing is. Like, we could put a V8 in it or something, but that wouldn't really be in the character of this car. It wouldn't really be in the character of this car at all. Uh, let's see. Oh, can we only do... Huh. We can only do Rally Compound, it looks like. Seriously? Really? Like, seriously? We can only do Rally... We cannot switch Compound? Okay. Well... That means we're bringing the size down to a 235 and going crazy with the power in, in hopes that the all-wheel drive can catch it enough uh, to, make it, to make it recover from huge angle as easily as possible because we're going to be throwing lots and lots and lots and lots of power at this thing. And we're going to be trying to get some really high-speed drifts, uh, but we need, to, um, we need to have a balance of grip. So... If we have too much grip, the car's not going to be able to handle itself, and if we have too little grip, the car's going to be too squirrely. So I'm trying to find a happy medium between those two things. So the only problem is, when this is fully built, it's probably going to only make like around 500 horsepower. So, let's see, 481, race turbo gets us to 585, so maybe right around 600 horsepower, but still, that's not... I mean, it's a lot of power. It's going to be right over 600, 603. Now, it's... It's a lot, but it's not a ton of power, especially compared to a lot of the other all-wheel drive drift-focused vehicles that you would normally see being run. Now, race brakes are definitely going to be a thing. So is race suspension. That's absolutely going to be a thing. Sway bars, I think have already been done. I know the cage has already been done. And race weight reduction has now been done as well. So we're almost at the top of S1 class, which this car isn't really being made for classes. So I'm going to go ahead and take it out and see what it uh, see what it feels like. I'm going to put a little bit of a base tune on it um, and change a couple of things with the gearing, the alignment. The only thing is I don't want to tune the gearing too much toward acceleration because if I do that, we're going to lose out on our top speed, which like I, normally I wouldn't be concerned with that in a car like this, but on Hot Wheels... You kind of, oh, wow, it's a 455. Maybe I'll, uh, well, we're going to need the speed. How about this? We take it to a 410 and see how it feels there. Camber-wise, we're going negative 4 degrees in the front and negative 2 degrees in the back with some toe out, at like half a degree of toe out in the front. 
sway bars. The front is getting softened up. Ride height is getting brought down. And a couple other things. The diff, we're going 75% uh, rear. The rear diff is going to stay locked. And that should be that should be a decent enough baseline setup for us to go ahead and get an idea of how this car is going to behave. Because this is just going to be built for skill combos. Because again, this has a drift skills multiplier. So that's the other reason why I really want to use it for this. Only thing is I'm not sure if the boxer has enough power. I mean, the boxer... Again, like... We've already extracted like 600 something horsepower out of it, but the thing is, it doesn't. Uh, I don't know. It will. We'll have to see how this feels over time because it's not exactly eh, the fastest thing in the world. Oh my god, that was so freaking close! Like that was, whoo, that was ridiculous. Oh god, no, 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 no! Whoo, I saved it. Saved it, sort of. Let's head back this way. Oh, that'll help maintain the combo, for sure. Oh, come on, get some air. Get some air. There we go. Aw, oh, really? Honestly, I think I may be swapping the engine, and I, I know there's going to be guys in the comments that are going to be like, No, you can't do that. It's a 22B. But the thing is, this is a specialist car being built for a specialized purpose, and swapping the engine may be necessary. Oh my god! Okay, I just did that kind of like, you know, for the fun of it, but I cannot believe how close that trail cat got to us. That is ridiculous. Let's go ahead and head back. Uh, let's go ahead and head back to the uh, to the outpost. Well, it's not even the outpost, it's the auto show. I don't know why I keep calling it the freaking outpost. Anyways, gonna head back here and we're gonna put the... Oh my god, so many people are gonna be mad. We're gonna put the V8 in it. We're gonna put the V8 in it because we we just need the extra power. We For what this car is built for, I know there's gonna be some guys that are gonna be like, Oh my god, you suck. You should be able to do that with like 200 horsepower. I get it. I really do. But we're also talking about Hot Wheels here. We're not talking about the main world. We're talking about Hot Wheels. So... Without any further ado, a 6.2 liter V8 with twin turbochargers is going into our 22B STI. And I know, again, before you guys freak out, this was a this was a necessary move uh, to basically to keep the idea of what we were going for with this car. Now, only things well, we're gonna have to re-upgrade the engine completely, which is no problem at all because it's gonna make a ton of power. Let's go ahead and see what we're at right now. 594. Cams, 733. So 733 with cams. 747. 773. We haven't even touched the turbos yet. Race turbos, we're pushing 962. Oh, God. 1,008. So this thing is going to... I mean, it'll go. I mean, I knew putting the V8 in it that, the, that it would make power and that it would go. But, uh, but I was a little bit... I was a little bit, you know, curious to see how much it would go, and it looks like we've added quite a lot of go to this car. Thankfully, thankfully, uh, it, it can make use of that extra go power. <laughs> much better. Oh, yeah. All right. Angle is what this thing is for, so I need to get used to throwing big angles. Oh, God. Holy crap. That's insane. I'm going to have to retune the diff a little bit, but that's that's ridiculous already. Don't hit me. Oh, my God. You're going to take me. Yeah. I saw those guys coming, and I was mid-drift, and I was like, there's very little I can do right here. I'm sorry, but there was very little I could do right there. And we'll get one initiated. Oh, God. The back end got super light. The back end got, like, stupid light. Not bad. All right. Keep this combo going. Don't even worry about the speed traps, speed zones. I don't have any concern about those at all right now. I'm just trying to use this thing to rack up huge combos. 
or at least hopefully huge combos. That's the that's the plan anyway. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bank the loop. Come on. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Oh, God. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, my God. All right, I was so worried we were either going into him or going into the wall. Something to do with the alignment and the power split is a little, like, I don't know, not iffy, not bad. Uh, just something that we need to address a little bit. There it goes. See, again, they place a lot of emphasis on your angle in Forza. They always, they always have placed a lot of emphasis on angle, but angle is one of those things that if you combine the angle with the speed, then you're... Oh, dear. Oh, dear God. Okay. Oh, that scared me. I thought I was going up into the top, like, in, into that top railing up there and getting effectively destroyed. But, oh, my God. Oh, my God. The all-wheel drive can help in the half pipe, but it can also be weird as hell in the half pipe. Super weird. There she goes. Okay, so... All-wheel drive sliding, power sliding, all-wheel drive drifting, whatever you want to call it, all-wheel drifting, whoo, is actually really fun in the half pipe. Just because of the fact that you can rack up so many points in the half pipe with it. God, you can go backwards angle in and then just pull the car right back out again and it doesn't care. Does that end? Or... Oh, don't... It, oh, my God. Holy crap. I about freaked out because I thought I almost lost the combo. If I was going any slower, I would have lost the combo. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Holy crap. You know what? You know what? You know what? Turning around. Launching in the other direction. Ultimate 180 to keep the combo going. And a little E-drift. Oh, that, that wall freaked me out. I got too close. Way too close for my liking, anyway. Can we go back through the... Um, can we go back? Yes, we can go back through the uh, through the half pipe. Make the jump. That should count. Perfect. Oh god. See, sometimes you get these little jumps going on, and they'll they'll mess with you, dude. Like they'll mess with you really bad. Come on, oh dude. The car got light again. You gotta be careful of that, man. Like you really do. And I know I keep saying it, but it keeps happening. But I will say also, the drift skills booster with this car makes this, like, in insanely... Oh, God. Makes this insanely fun and an, and an amazing car to rack up combos with. Like, if you want to rack up huge combos on Hot Wheels, I, dude, I'm telling you right now, this is the car to come to. And hang out in the freaking half pipes, dude. Because the thing is, you can go right back around the other way, pull right back around to the other side, and just turn around and transition, and you're good to go. God, that's awesome. That's so good. Like, we're on 130, well, almost 130,000 now. We are 130,000 now. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. <gasps> Holy crap. Oh, my God. We saved it, but damn, that was, that was close as hell. Got an awesome J-turn bonus out of it, though. There it is, there it is, there it is, there it is. Come on. Dude! Oh, save it. Turn back the other way. <laughs> Dude, this is nuts. Like, this combo is freaking insane. I'm gonna beat my record. I know I'm gonna beat my record by being in here. Turn it back around. There it is. Because every time you turn around, you get an awesome drift bonus, and you get, uh, you get a, like, a burnout. And with this being one of the longest half pipes, you can keep going. And it's like almost like a you versus the half pipe challenge. It's like it's endurance. Dude, just to kick it sideways and freaking leave it there. And what's crazy is there's no traffic in here. I don't know if that's just like a random thing or if that's actually like, holy crap. That's, that's too close. <laughs> that's too close. Oh, never mind. There's traffic right there. Okay. Woo! 
Woo, not bad. We're over 200,000. 200 freaking thousand points. Good God. And that's before the multiplier. This, this score is going to be ridiculous. Holy crap. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> counted it as a 180 for that. I don't know how it counted it as a 180 for that, but it did. Dude, I am literally just staying planted to the floor, occasional, occasionally touching the e-brake, and just trying to rack up as many points as humanly possible because, dear God, look at this. Just change down a couple of gears, and oh my God, that, that scared the crap out of me because I didn't see him coming. Just to get back around, take the awesome 180 and the burnout bonus. That'll be 250. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, dude, this is sweet. Then every time you want to. Whoa, wow. Okay, that was one of the sketchiest moments so far. When do I think I'm going to bank this score? Like, when do I want to bank this score? Uh, when do we get to. F like, okay, anything above 300,000, I'll bank the score. Tell you what, how does that sound? Anything above 300,000, I'll bank the score. Because we're getting close. Like, part of me in my head wants to go for a drift tap, but I'm like, I, I don't want to lose a combo this big at this point. Like, I, I think going for a drift tap would be, it get you'd get some extra points out of it, but it's insanely risky. Like, insanely risky. Like, <gasps> Holy crap. All right, all right, all right. Take the burnout and just go back the other way. Oh, damn. All right. I don't know how we saved ourselves from that. We're almost at 300,000. Give me the 300,000. Just give me 300,000 and I'll move and, and I'll be good to go. Because I want to end up after the multiplier. I want to end up with over a million after the multiplier. So we need like, we need a little bit more than 300,000. We won't need that much more, but we need a little bit more. It's hilarious that whenever you slow down, it gives you a burnout bonus. Like, I, I, I love that. All right, get ready to whip it back around the other way and go. Oh, there it is. That's exactly what we needed. And the thing is, you can keep going up one side of these and then back down the other side and just use it to continue, continue your multiplier and just almost like it, it, it's, it's, it's easy. It's easy to continue your multiplier by doing that. Good God. And the thing is, nobody is... Com like, how, how many traffic cars have we seen? Like, three? Four? Like, that's about the max as far as, like, traffic drivatars driving around that we've seen. Good God. <laughs> Whatever score we end up with at the end of this, like, run... Uh, we're going to go ahead and bank that, and we'll see what we end up with. It's 360. 360. You know what? We're so close to 400,000. Just go for 400,000. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Well, we're spinning around again. We're so close to 400,000, we may as well do it, because I know within this last run back, we will hit 400,000. Like, pre-multiplier 400,000. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Holy crap. If I, if I tagged that wall and lost this whole combo, you guys would be seeing the biggest rage moment ever. My, my neighbors would probably hear me, but I, I wouldn't care. That would be ridiculous. There you go. There you go. That's, oh, my God. That's 390. Oh, dear. Trying to keep this going right here at the end of the section, but... Okay. Just got to get that last 5,000. We're in 396. 390. Duh. Huh. Burn out. And then back down the other side. Drift. Oh, my God. Where's my 400? There it is. There it is. Oh, my God. Jeez, if a traffic car freaking hit me right now, I'd be so mad. Holy crap. 
2,406,900. Oh my god. That is absolutely ridiculous. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video um, and also actually enjoyed a like learning about an easy way to get insane amounts of skill points, don't forget to give me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time. Talk to you guys later.